Welcome back. We have Gail uh, Catherine Anderson Dargatz joining us on the show today. It's a long name. We'll just call you Gail. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, Gail is an author, and she lives in the Shishwap area, uh, and you have written several books, a lot of them based in the Shishwap Thompson. Yeah, most of my literary novels were written about the Shishwap uh, and Thompson region. Uh, so a lot of them are set in part in Kamloops, part in uh, Chase area, and in part in Salmon Arm as well. And so we're here to talk about the uh, most recent book that you've uh, released, and here it is. Uh, it's called The Spawning Grounds. Uh, I'd love to hear a little bit about uh, what the story story is about? Wow. Uh, well, I've always been interested in how um, the landscape is a character for me. I'll put it that way. It's a character for me. And that's always been the case in each novel that I've written. And this one, uh, it steps forward and takes on flesh and becomes a living, breathing, hmm. literal character in this novel. Uh, so I've used magic realism to do that. Uh, and it's uh, stepped it stepped forward as a character to take care of its own. In other words, um, in a way, this is an environmental novel, um, but it's it's got a good story, so I think it'll pull pull a reader in. But it's it's about what we're doing to our landscape here in the Shishwap Thompson, and and uh, uh, hopefully there's a voice there that mm -hmm. I've I've given a voice to a spirit of the landscape, and I'm hoping that that'll be heard. You say that there are three different time periods in this book that uh, you bounce in back in between from each of these time periods. Yeah, it opens in uh, 1857, so it's during the Gold Rush era and uh, then moves forward into present day and involves uh, two teenage characters. Uh, it, it is very much an adult novel, but it's, it involves two teenage characters who are working through some family difficulties. And as part of that, it moves back into their family's past. So it moves through those three time periods. Uh, and um, weaves the different threads of the different stories together. Is this the first book that you've read that deals with your concerns about the environment and what we're doing to it? No, no, I'm holding, I'm holding uh, my first novel here, uh, which uh, they've just come out with a new edition mm -hmm. uh, because it's the 20th anniversary of it. Oh. So Random House came out with a new edition. Uh, but all of my books have talked about the environment in some way or another. Um, I don't believe in starting a book with a message, but um, I love this region. And uh, I just feel I can't write about it without addressing some of the issues that concern me and, and really concern most of us when it comes to development and our sockeye, our salmon, mm -hmm. uh, our rivers, and um, you know our, our valleys, and um, and the problems that we're facing there. So it does find its way in there. Mm -hmm. I know when you hear about you know the returns of the salmon, for example, and that they're exceptionally yeah. low, yeah. that must really bug you. I know it bothers me. It really bothers me, and it bothers most of us. And uh, and of course that made it into the novel. As soon as I decided to write about a river in it, it's a fictional river, but. Uh, as soon as I decided to write about that, the salmon and everything that we're dealing with there uh, found its way into the book. So mm -hmm. you'll see that theme right from the start in mm -hmm. the opening chapter. Is that t to do with this book? The oh, spawning yes. Grounds? Oh, yeah, the spawning grounds, oh, obviously, because that. it's of course. the spawning grounds. Yeah. So, yeah. What is your message then to people? What, what is your inspiration behind this book? What do you want people to know? I want people to just pay attention uh, to what's happening to our landscape here uh, and, and, and start to take care of it. Your, your previous guests were huge inspiration. Uh, they, they've seen a problem and they've done something right. about it. So I have great hope for, the, for our next generation and what they're doing. Uh, and I, I'd like to see people just like that. You know, mm -hmm. doing just that. It's very inspiring to see young people wanting to do something to yeah. better their surroundings, yeah. right? Yeah. And we all need to find one thing that we can do like that. Yeah, ab absolutely. Yeah. You are going to have a book signing on the 24th of September, uh, which is coming up at 1 o'clock at Chapters. Yes. And this is an opportunity for people to come and meet you, perhaps yes. uh, see your book, uh, grab a copy, and have it signed by you. Yes, and I love to chat, so come down and say hello. Good. Tell me this, will you be doing any readings from your book? Uh, not, I, I'm doing a string of readings right through the uh, Shushwap Thompson Okanagan. Mm -hmm. uh, I've just done two in Salmon Arm and Vernon. I do one in Kelowna tomorrow night. And then I head off to Toronto where we start uh, start the book tour proper. Good for you. And then it's off to festival season, so it's a very busy fall. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to blow your horn a little bit, you're an award winner too. Yes, I've uh, been shortlisted for the Giller Prize, which is our most prestigious prize in Canada, twice, which Fantastic. is uh, a real honour. Um, and I've done well internationally, so that's 
been very fortunate Good uh, for to you. be able to say that. Yeah. Good for you. More books on the way then. You've been yes. writing for 20 years at least. You said this first book, uh, it's 20 years ago it came out. Yeah, the first novel. I had a, a collection that came out before mm -hmm. that that was up for the Stephen Lee Cock Award, but this is my first novel. So. Good for yeah. you. Yeah. So more on the way, I'm sure. More on the way. Fantastic. Gail, what a pleasure to have you on the show. Oh, it's a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Uh, September 24th, if you would like to meet Gail, uh, pick up a copy of her book. She will be more than happy to sign it for you. There it is, up close and personal. Uh, again, also, you can reach out gailanderson.dargats.ca.